Hello and welcome back once again to Let's Play on Total War Shogun 2 with the Shimazu. I promise we'll get back to the Takeda one shortly. I, I, I do want to play more of it, but this one's just so much fun right now, alright? Just accept it. Anyway, the last time we left off, we had a battle waiting for us with our full melee army, which has some katana cavalry in as well. Um, against a pretty uh, ranged focused army here with some reinforcements as well. Should be a fairly fun battle. It's the first time we're going to see our Naginata Warrior Monks in action properly as well. Obviously, we've auto-zolt a couple times with them, but haven't really used them yet in this campaign. So this will be the first real battle. We are slightly wounded from some battles we'd auto-zolt before. Uh, and the enemy is slightly wounded from attrition they took, so that kind of evens out. They, um, It's an interesting army they have. It just the amount of firebomb throwers is kind of ridiculous. They could certainly do quite a bit of annoying things with them, but it'll be okay. Also an interesting map we have here, with uh, lots of big mountains, which hopefully the AI will choose not to use, because that could be really annoying. Uh, this would be a good place for them, but honestly, with these kind of maps where as a player you'd be like, yeah, I'll take this uh, gigantic fucking hill and I'll sit up here with my entire army, the AI doesn't really do that, so I don't know what they're going to choose here. Like, this is a hill, this is a bit of a hill, so they might choose either one of those, or they might just set up literally right there and then just leave it at that. It's probably the more likely of two things, to be honest. Uh, anyway, let us make a line. And then, uh, we actually need to do... Ooh, this is going to be awkward now, isn't it? I have multiple types of cavalry. Disgusting. Um... Keep you guys on the right side with this unit. Let me put you here to keep that differentiated. Uh, we don't have stand and fight in this army yet, so no need to worry about that. All right, let's go. Okay, they're exactly in between the two places where I said they might be. Good to know. See, here's that thing where I should use, and I, I I'm not gonna. I, well, I'm gonna do it just to show. But yeah, this is where I should use. Uh, wait, how do you? Look? Lock a group, that one. Control G. Ah, that's what I pressed, what the hell? Anyway, and then you can like move them in the actual group. Oh, isn't that fucking beautiful? See, I pressed Control G, but I guess you have to press it twice, that's weird. I also now remember another reason why I never use groups. Oh god. That right there is one of them. Why the fuck can't they just deploy the, the way I set them? See, that's not how I set them up, so why- See, this is why I don't use groups, right here. Alright, so group two, and then if I- See, why does it split them up? Why does it do that, huh? But yeah, one of the reasons I don't use groups is because um, you get these like stupid groups orders, group orders, and then you also have that. I think it's yeah, these things pop up. You have these like it's cool that they added this in Shogun 2, right? It's like oh, you can set up these kinds of different, but it's just like you need to basically you need to group up your entire army, and this is just like the noob's way of moving your army around or setting up your army. It's like oh, let's go for the fucking Reclining Dragon, which means melee infantry, heavy attack formation, right... Uh, and then we can get more information on it. Oh my god, there's actual... I've never seen these before, because <laughs> I've never looked at them before. That's actually pretty cool. I would never use this, but it's actually pretty cool. Because, um, you know, doing shit manually is always better than having uh, a, a, a computer do it for you, but... Anyway, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that that existed. But that's that's basically why I don't use groups, because the stupid things are taking up AI space. I guess you can just do that, but... I don't know, it's just awkward to me. And the fact that, I mean, look, I, I'm trying to move this... Why is, it, why is it making them go into a different formation, even though I locked it in this formation? I'm sure there's a, an actual reason for it, but... Why the fuck are you doing that? I didn't, I didn't do that. I set you up in a very particular way, on purpose, and then... The group is like, nah, actually, even though you've locked it, I'm gonna fuck it all up. What are you gonna do about it, you little bitch? At least that one's staying information, so that's something. This one just doesn't want to. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, um, there you go. That's why I don't use groups. A question that I've only had asked about six million times or so, give or take. One or two. Um, anyway. Enough about that. I kind of want to ungroup now, but this is kind of unfunny. It, I can name this episode something related to using groups and then only do it once in the entire game. Oh, these are reinforcements. So I was like, what the fuck are these guys doing? Did they forget? Um, do they have any Yari Ashigaru in here? 
He got some reinforcement on his one over here as well. They're not in Yari Wall yet, although I, want, I wonder if they're going to do that once those guys arrive. Either way, I think it's time we uh, just head up there. We're going to obviously have to take the arrow fire, but that's okay. Is this still... Yeah, that still works as well. Okay, very nice. Oh, very cool. Oh, groups are fucking amazing, don't you guys agree? Uh, General Man. I should probably go into loose formation. You're getting absolutely fucking blasted. Ooh, my PC is not handling the fire arrows super well. I do have everything super maxed out on graphics now. Since I have, uh... 3090 now. As of a couple months ago. Grave danger, my grave danger, my Are you going for my calf? How very unfortunate for you that you didn't make it. Our general's in grave danger, what the hell? Oh, you're just, okay. just hanging out over here. Alright, let's do a couple of, um... Actually, you can do it as well, because I get a wall route instantly. Oh, fuck, I forgot they have fireball first. Get over there, cavalry. You stupid idiots. You guys, get over there. You charged in there, you broke them. Right, charge in there from the side. It's only bullets you go. Get the fuck in there. They've routed. Get in. Get over there. Kill those fireball first. I'm sure they're murdering themselves as well, but still. Get in here! Too many goddamn fireball for us that I forgot about, even though I sold them moments ago. Yeah, they are actually probably doing quite a bit. I'm sure they're murdering their own troops as well, but still. Oh, fuck! Holy shit, dude. They're bullying my general. Should not have set him up over there, to be fair, but... Anyway. Get into the enemy general. I love this kind of army, just... My lord, coming in from the side and breaking everything. I definitely lost a lot more here than I needed to, just because I forgot about the back fireball first. Also, yeah, that's the only time I'll ever use groups. That can happen again. Alright, can we kill everything? That would be phenomenal. Absolutely bloody phenomenal. I also forgot to use the warp round one ability. Could have routed the ends there a little bit quicker, but... It don't matter. <clears throat> Voice, where are you going? Stay here. Uh, ooh, I think we may have a pretty solid chance of murdering everything here, to be honest. I need some more cavalry units. You, standing around like an absolute buffoon. What the heck do you think you're doing? Get over there. I need another cav. Uh, you, yep, come over here. Then we have... Nope, you're all doing stuff. You're not doing anything. Get over here. Nothing that went this way, except for some random uh, so general unit who's already dead. Alright, everyone's got their jobs. I think we're chasing them. Almost everything. Ooh, that unit might get away. You, go chase them instead. You're already killing this unit. You help out over here. I think that's everything probably selected. So the only thing here is, can I kill Bo? Oh, I think we did actually. If you're still killing them off as well. Make sure we grab these guys before they run off the map. Hello? Uh, 11. They may have survived, but I don't think so. Alright, and there's six of those. They're dead. Cool. I think we may have actually killed off both the armies entirely, which would be pretty damn sweet. But we'll find out. Um, so yeah, decent battle. Firebomb throws definitely did a number on us, but... It's okay. I just like the... Uh, I'm not going to use groups anymore because that kind of ruins shit for me. But yeah, I do like the um, folding in from the sides and I just like killing shit. I probably should make the uh, center a little bit stronger from, from now on. Just put a, like make the, the center a bit thicker. And then the flanks a little bit weaker. Because like, now I got to worry about will cut for everything. And then with the charging in from the cavalry and a war cry, we'll route just anything. We did kill both of them. Sweet. Go on, fall over. Hey there, over. Fall on over. Level up. I don't know how close we were. I think we're still a couple levels away. Or a couple battles away. Uh, one and a half. AKA two. Uh, right. We can get into Aki, which we need to, because my god, this place is an Aki. By Jove. I probably should upgrade this, actually, and then build a socket in there. Don't know why I decided not to last time. Um, I mean, while we're here, I am tempted just to continue on and take uh, Bingo as well. 
this army... Oh, I sabotaged them, didn't I? So if I attack them first and then take the town, I actually get a level up from that. That'd be pretty sick. Uh, so this place is 7, 12, 13, 14... Yeah, this place is going to be completely fine. So let's run you into Aki. Unless this was going to rebel this turn, but I assume no. No! This place is minus one, I'm guessing. Yep, we already saw it into that. And then this place is going... I don't think it's going to get any more than minus four, so that's good. That's still going away, so yeah, this will be fine soon. We do have our four Yari Samurai in here, and then I have these two guys on the way, right? Okay. I also need to drop off the monk still, because I fucked that up. And then... These guys... Oh yeah, I was going to send this army all the way around, for jokes. Yeah, we're going to drop this one off and just land it here, or something like that. Um, I should actually, come to think of it, I should, maybe I'll leave it here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll take the monk with me, and I'll probably pick up another two or three monks and just take them all with me so I can start converting all the eco-religion. Well, no, because I'm, I'm going to start meeting them up here pretty soon as well. I'll bring, like, two of them. So I need to make sure I bring another one. I have one on here, and then I have one on here. So I actually, yeah, I have two of them with me already. Bit shit, that one, but oh well. Uh, oh god damn it, stop missing. Uh, one more turn I can get a level 5 monk, which I believe I can recruit one of, because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. And I think I'm going to get rid of this guy as well, and then just recruit another one as well. So, let's just do that now, because there's no reason to wait on that, I think. And then the other monk we have is sitting pretty in here. Who is... See, I... I Actually, it's three turns from now. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. But yeah, I could remove him as well, and then actually get another higher level monk, but oh well. Right, you're gonna go kill this army. This free man. And then you're gonna take the town. Please. Yes, good. Just gonna say, please tell me you can breach. And that levels him up. Perfect. I don't want to know that you go, as it turns out. I do want to upgrade your farm, despite the fact that you're shitty bigger soil farms uh and then what the fuck <laughs> i've never seen this one before minus one percent to the cost of recruiting kisho ninja as the worst no it's not the worst there is actually some of them that are literally useless this is not literally useless but it's about as close to literally useless as you can get without actually being literally useless what the hell even if i was recruiting full kisho ninja armies what the fuck is one percent Cost reduction gonna do? <coughs> oh, Jesus, I'm dying. What the fuck is that? Why didn't they make that 10%? Then it still would have been pretty close to useless. Because, I mean, how often do you even recruit Kishin Ninja? And, I mean, I'm assuming you'd have to keep this guy in the actual town where you're recruiting Kishin Ninja as well. So, wh what? I mean, even if, even if this was 50%, I'd probably, I mean, it would still almost never actually, you know, be a thing, unless you're playing as that Tori, or maybe the Tokugawa, since they technically have improved Kishin Ninja, although actually they're worse, because CA, uh, but there are mods that uh, actually make them better, but, um, yeah, no, I just, I, what, what the fuck, what's this one? Plus one loyalty for my heir. I guess if he, if my daimyo were to die, this guy has higher honor, sure. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, higher honor. Um, Alright, well, that was fucking weird. Uh, but there you go. Good stuff. I wonder if they want to peace out yet. I'm assuming yes, now that I've killed off their main force. Yeah, but unfortunately for them, I have no interest in such a deal. Such an agreement. Uh, cool. Oh, well. I don't know why I've never done that before. Very entertaining. Uh, anyway, we have... Do I have any random units around? I don't think so. Well, these two guys who have been costing me money every turn for goddamn forever, but I'll, I'm keeping them. I'm probably going to keep them here as an uh, an army to um, get to deal with naval evasions, which might happen since the Hama declared war on me, didn't they? Yeah, that was fucking weird. Especially because they own Ugo as well. It's not like they just own Sado, they actually own another town. But another reason for me to go over there and invade them, I suppose. Right, so we're recruiting four of these broskies, we're recruiting four of you, and then we're recruiting four of you. So that fourth army is going to be done in two turns, if they obviously run it to each other. Who's going to be leading it, I wonder? Probably my commissioner for finance to reduce the costs a little bit. 
Uh, supply is useful too, but yeah, it's gonna be finance, man. Good. Uh, we can of course reduce our upkeep a little bit once we put these guys in here by removing the disgusting Yari Samurai from existence, which is a completely good thing to do. Do you want a piece of that? Spick. Um. Alright, how is our trade doing? Hatakiyama and Hatano are both blockaded. Uh, Alright, if I kill off the Matsuda, then the Hatano one will continue. However, are we going to Realm Divide before that happens? We're on 18 out of 6. We're actually pretty close to Realm Dividing here. Which, uh, that would definitely mean that we're going to be going down on to minus income. Although it wouldn't... It probably wouldn't be too far off, to be honest. Because we're losing these two, which are actually fucking 6 grand, holy shit. Uh, but these two are currently losing me money. Because if I, if I break these, we make more money from unsold resources. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, we'd, um, we'd, we'd definitely lose money. And of course, recruiting that extra army, we'd certainly go down. Oh my god, we're down to 44 grand. What the fuck have I been doing? I've not paid, I've not looked at this for a while. <laughs> I thought we were still at 80 grand or something. I guess I am upgrading tons of, like this trading port, for example. All it does is increase my town growth by two. I don't think it's even worth upgrading that. Actually, no, it doesn't even do that. It gives me a trade route, which does nothing, because first of all, we're about to round divide. Second of all, it's not connected to my capital, so the only trade routes I get are the ones I get from uh, Kyushu Island. So yeah, that actually does literally nothing. It allows me to recruit a trade ship and a Siege Tower Bune, if I had the tech, I guess. Um... It also improves my export capacity, but that's basically useless to Yeah, I don't know why I'm upgrading that. I'm pretty sure I upgraded another one around here recently, and I shouldn't have done that either. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Farms are definitely a worthy investment, because it's more growth. It's not great in the shitty soil ones, but it's okay. Uh, was I? Yeah, I was upgrading this one. Right, so that's pointless too, isn't it? Yeah, let's stop doing that. It just costs money. And here it is worth it, because... No, it is not either, actually. Because we already get the plus two turn to, for, uh, from time growth. Yeah, let's not build that one either. That's stupid. Doesn't actually increase our income in any way, shape, or form. All right, cool. So that is that. Um, I gotta gotta start being a little bit more careful with our income now, or for our, our money anyway. So I do believe that to be that. Um, I'm just wondering, Metsuke wise, if I'm doing the right thing still. I mean, obviously, oh, here we go. Yeah, we got this guy in Bungo, whereas Nagato is actually richer. Okay, so I should send them over there instead. It's going to lose me quite a bit of money this turn. It would certainly be better to send him by ship, but then I'd have to wait. I could build a ship here. Can I get a ship over here without building one? Probably not. Um, no. Well, it would be enough to do that, probably. Um, yeah, alright, sure. And then we'll leave him here for now. So we'll pop him into that ship next turn, send him over here, and then he'll get there the turn after. Uh, yeah, that that's alright. And then, I mean, he's not going to stay in Nagato forever, because I'm sure there's going to be another town over here that's going to be richer at some point. Bit you're actually looking fairly decent as well, in terms of income. Probably make that even better. Yeah, it has. Actually, no, it has a merchant guild, so that's why. Yeah, I probably want to remove that. Or maybe just go with it. I don't know. Oh, they're also upgrading terrace farming, so I probably want to wait an extra turn, otherwise, I'm going to have to afford that myself. And they're upgrading this to a master weaponsmith. Oh, very kind of them. I could maybe start recruiting units here. Oh, very cool. Thank you. We are also. Oh, we're. F oh, never mind. I thought we were four turns away from getting the tech required for Shimazu Heavy Gunners, but no, we're four turns away from getting the shitty tech, and then it's another fucking... Wait, is it? Yeah, another 17 turns. Until we get that. Honestly, the fucking campaign's gonna be over by then. I'm trying, guys, I really am, but... <laughs> oh god, I just hit my knee. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it done in time. <laughs> it's... I'm definitely gonna have to just send them into an army that's already established up somewhere at the front, but... Anyway, that's enough fucking about for one turn and this shit oh my god i forgot how few clowns are left 
Well, oh, the efforts of others, someone has built a legendary building. I'm gonna say it's part of the Ikuiki. Yep, they're building the uh, legendary Bajutsu school, the cap building. Very cool. Uh, if you build that first, you of course get um, a bonus. I think it's a plus five charge bonus for that one. I'll just I can't actually right click it. Oh, give me any building. Uh, I mean, I guess I can show the legendary. It doesn't matter, it matter which one I take, but yeah, that one. Uh, if you're the first to construct, plus five charge bonus for all cavalry units, yeah. Very cool. Good, f good for you. Um, who are you again? Ikoiki guy. I will have one of your finest markets, please. So I have some cheap experience as well, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, so now I can get monks here, but they'd be level 2, not level 3, so I'm not going to do that yet. I have three ninjas hanging around. I should probably pick up a ninja and bring him with me as well. Awaji is at minus 1, but it's going to lose both of those, so it's actually going to gain... Hold on, let's put these in here first. So it's going to gain 2, so I can get rid of 3 units right now. So I, I will. Get the fuck out of here, please. It's minus one, minus two, but it's gonna gain two. Yeah, all right, cool. You guys, Tono. Um, let's actually pick up a ninja from here. Level four, level four. Level three, I'll take one of the level four ones with me. Tono. Uh, and then... We're gonna have to put, let's see, I'm gonna take a good navy. I'll take uh, three of these and one of you. Pop them in there, pop both the agents in there. And then, all right, so that now has, I should've done the other way around. Actually, no, I couldn't have. No, I could've. Yes, I still can, technically. Yes, I, I should. Uh, you guys, come back. Can I select, oh, I can't select all of them at once. Pop a ton of all that on there as well. And that way... Oh god. Does that crash the game? Don't crash game. There's no need for that. Alright, I'm back. I uh, had to reload the autosave at the beginning of the turn, because the game crashed, which was kind of awkward. Anyway, uh, right, so I've got rid of these three units. I believe, I fucking hope I did. I mean, it was only about three minutes ago, so yeah. Um, you guys went this way. I also, I think I did this uh, sabotage here. I'm gonna fill it now, aren't I? Oh, it's all good. Um, right, then we did... No, I picked up the unit first, but it doesn't matter. We were over here. This time we're gonna do the other way around. So we're just gonna put the agent... Not you. Fuck's sake. Put you on there. Put the entire army on there. Right. Wait, what? How did it switch? Yo, you, come with me. There we go. Now we have the army, the agents, cool. Then we pick up a ninja. I don't know which one it was, but that one will do. And then we're gonna go that way, right. And we're gonna sail this one all the way around, land it in Sado, probably take Sado and just go from there. You are gonna go check stuff out over here, probably get some cheap sabotage experience. Always, always very nice. Are you anywhere level, near level four? Yeah, halfway there. We'll do that. Uh, we don't want to take Bitchu yet because they're building up this building for us. They're also building up Yarajuria, which I don't want, but oh well. We'll let them have that for a turn. Uh, wait, did I just have a build? Yes, I got to build a market. I believe I did that last time too, before the game crashed. Okay. Uh, we also had this ship was going to go here. Do I have? Yeah, I've got the movements. Perfect. So then you're going to go onto that ship. Then said ship is going to run or sail over here, and then you're going to get off the ship and go to Nagato, which we'll get to next turn. Suo is minus one. You're going to gain one. We also want to build a market here. So you're going to gain uh, two even, and you're going to gain another one, so you're going to gain three, so you're going to be on plus two. So I could move out the character, but then you'll be on minus one. So I'd have to recruit a single unit to do so, which I do want to do, because this monk would be very much useful in Aki. Yazaki is at 9 happiness, which will be 10 next turn. It's going to keep keep getting more happy. So we'll have to recruit a unit here next turn as well. Uh, and then I want to get this army out of here because I'm going to start moving on. Trucking along. Go grab Izumo next turn. Okay, 
So you're going to be fine next turn. We're going to gain three, four. Aki is going to gain only one next turn. But then actually it's going to get the stronghold too. So I don't even have to recruit a unit. If I'm going to gain one and then the turn after that I'm going to gain two. So it'll be a minus three. Which means I have to exempt it. But Or I could recruit three units. Let me think. If I recruit one right now and then two next turn. So one right now we get to minus four. Then the turn after that I'm going to get to minus two. Yeah, so if I recruit one right now and then two. Although it's not cheaper than just exempting it for one or two turns. It probably isn't actually. So let's not do, do that. Don't want to take this shift because they're building a building. They have built whatever they were building. That was the Monster Weaponsmith. Yeah, I don't really care about that too much anyway. But cool. Uh, you guys are just going to keep sailing around here probably. At some point I'll need a bit of a fleet here to hold against or help against naval invasions. But um, Right, I... I'm going to have my army ready next turn. Our income is definitely going to drop below. Um, oh wow, that is raided. And it cost me like 2200 bucks. Holy shit, that is insane. That raid. Who the fuck is raiding us? The Matsuda dickheads. Um, yeah, I was going to say, Kingdom Off will solve a lot of problems. But it certainly will also mean that I trigger around the bite. Which we were we we're totally ready for that in this campaign, so I'm I'm fine with triggering around the bite. i I would like the third army to be completely ready, but or the fourth army even. But I'm not too fussed about it. We are certainly gonna go below zero income, but that's okay. We can afford that for quite a while. And if I have to I can remove stuff as well. I have so many navies I could get rid of as well if I wanted to. It probably actually is time to just merge some navies and just plop them over here, rather than actually in defending individual trade routes. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. So I have, let's see, I have six ships here, so I need four to fill that up. So this is six, which is too many, but there's this navy on the way, which is a little bit dangerous. So I'm actually going to send you that way. I'm just going to remove this fleet here. Oh, the experience, what a waste. Uh, and then that navy is going to get together to basically defend over here. I guess I could get rid of two ships here instead. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then this navy is going to get together as well. So we have 11 ships here, so I'll get rid of... What do we have here? Um, I got rid of a shitty medium bune. Right, and you're going to get together around about over here. Keep increasing that income. So yeah, like overall we lost all the money because I had all those ships for ages, but it also probably made it less likely that people attacked us because we have a superior strength. It's an actual thing in this game, like some people often want, like in this campaign as well, I think people ask me like, well, how come you're not being attacked when I'm, I'm always being murdered by everyone? Like, it's because after I took Kyushu, I could have removed all my units and made a lot more money, but instead I kept a full stack in Buzan and almost full stack in Bungo. Which makes the enemy realize, okay, he's actually got some troops, so we shouldn't mess with him. Because, of course, that, you know, changes our power from, you know, whatever to terrifying or whatever it is at that point. Um, and that, you know, makes it less likely that people will attack you. If you just disband all your units, yeah, you'll make a lot more money, but it also be more likely that people declare war on you because they think you're weak. And you are, because you haven't got any units. You weak pieces of shit. Um... Anyway, I think it's about fucking time to end this gosh darn turn, wouldn't you say? Hope I didn't do any math incorrect. Lose all my income all of a sudden. Or have a bunch of rebellions all of a sudden, even. Did that guy just do an, uh, uh, an agent action? No, I don't think so. Aki's an Aki. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. So yeah, it's going to gain two. We have to exempt it. We already do that. We recruited the entire army. Yeah, we are losing money now, as expected. Oh, we got the powder maker. Fuck yeah. We can recruit fire projecting mangonels with superior accuracy. Oh boy. <laughs> 35 accuracy fire projecting mangonels. Let's go. Right, so, Commissioner for Finance, that's you. You're going to take this here army. Start making your way up towards Higo. Uh, Aki, didn't I? Oh, right, yeah. Still need to get the happiness, that's why. Okay. I could, uh, if I wanted to, I could up my taxes, but 
probably not, not a good idea. Um, get the cavalry in here. This will actually save me a little bit of money because I'm a commissioner for finance. <laughs> that saved me 16 bucks. <laughs> that's that's where we're going to get that money. Uh, oh, I do actually need a navy to send this army somewhere. So I guess that's going to be this navy for now. Pop you down here. Pop Tony you down here. I'm going to make a little bit more money from putting this guy into Nagato. Not sure if it's going to be 481, but it very well could be. Let's find out. Yeah, easily. So we're now making money again. Barely, but it's good enough. Uh, I'm going to let you guys live because I just can't be bothered, mostly. You guys are going to go this way. I wonder if I should send this new army with... Uh, I can get rid of you, can't I? I should, I should send this whole new army uh, also that way. Just like do a two-pronged attack. It's definitely more dangerous, but as I said last time, it is kind of more fun as well. And fun is important sometimes. A Hatano Ninja, level 4 Hatano Ninja. That's scary. I'm assuming he's not targeting me, he's targeting them as well. It wasn't Metsuke though, yeah. This guy almost reached me, so he could have been very annoying. Let's try and murder him real quick. Nice. And I'll level up. Cheeky. Very cheeky. Oh, sushi Chef is always good. Yeah, I'll take that 3% chance of critical success. Uh, I should go around the other side first. Okay. Sabotage them for some cheap experience. Then, what have we else to do? We're not going to gain any more happiness until the non-clan religion goes away here, so no point getting rid of him yet. I could get rid of him and recruit a Yari Ashigaru instead, but that seems like a dumb idea. Um, right, so this navy was going to go pick up the army that's coming from here. Let's switch it here right now. It's take a while to get there. Um, this army is identical to this one, isn't it? No, not this one. This one. Yes, I do believe it to be true. Uh, actually, can you sabotage this army here, please? Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Let's go kill them off so I can get more experience. I'm sorry, that's definitely not true. Yeah, lost 35 men. I was going to say, there's no fucking way. Oh, it's the first time I autosave since starting up the game, because of course we had a crash. It's also, it doesn't seem to be autosaves from ending turn, does it? It's only autosaves from, uh... Or is this still the same turn? I'm not sure. Actually, it might be. Maybe it is just whatever the first end, um, autosave is. Oh god, no, okay. I was, gonna, I was worried it was gonna crash again. Are they gonna move away? Yeah, slightly. Can I reach them? Because that'd be another 10 experience right there. This guy is bound to level up pretty soon. Uh, I... God, Rhodes, how much are they? 11.52. I guess I will. Can I reach this army? Uh, I think so, yeah. How close are you to leveling up? Yeah, that'll be a level up right there. Um, how happy is the town, Izumo? It's got 5, it's gonna gain 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 yen. So, on 2 turns from now, it'll be on 15, which is exactly what we need. So, just move on. Level up. JK. Nope, not you. Don't care about you. Get that. Keep the other point, of course. And then we're gonna move on towards Hokey. Oh, Hokey Pokey. Um, our income slowly going up as well from all the towns. Well, all the towns from the towns that I'm taking. You are gonna meet up with these six ships here, and then you're gonna go this way. But for now, that's okay. We very well might trigger Realm Divide from taking the next town, or if I move on and take Bees in immediately as well. Let's find out. I'll have that one, thanks. I don't see the Shogun message yet, so not yet. But I'm pretty sure the next town might very well be it. Um, and I can't take the next town right now. I... Ooh boy, that's a thing. I was gonna say... I don't mind triggering Realm Divide, but on the other hand, I'm doing this whole plan of sending this army around, and it's going to take quite a while to get there. Three, four... Uh, guess... Five. Probably six turns to get to Sado. And that's only Sado, then we still, you know, if we want to actually, you know, start attacking from the back, we'll have to take another two or three turns to get there. I could wait. I could either just go and take more towns. I could probably trigger it right now by taking this place. 
Uh, I guess I'll keep the Siege Engineer's Workshop. There's no reason to get rid of four buildings, or three buildings. Do I keep the, keep the Merchant Guild? I think I will. It does cost me two food, which is not great. But at this point in the campaign, I'm pretty sure that thousand wealth is going to be more relevant than two food. It's too late. Uh, where do I have my Metsuke now? He's in Tsukushi Higo. Bichu is richer than Nagato, so I should send him in here instead. That's because, of course. And we still got a Sake then to build there too. This place is not getting any richer, so yeah, I should send him that way. Although that would definitely mean I go below zero again. Not that it matters, but... Then it's Nagato. Then it's Tosa. Then it's Bungo. Our, um, yeah, our supposed one of the richest towns in the game is uh, taking its time to get there, but... It is going up. Once this gets built, it'll just fly up instantly. And then we got the market coming in the gambling hall, and then I'm going to upgrade the market as well. Okay, so triggering Rondify right now. I mean, we... we How many towns do we have? 20 now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure taking the next town will either trigger it, or it's going to be one more turn. Or one more town, even. I'd like to take another one. Do I risk it? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. If we trigger it, it's not the end of the world, but... Oh, for some... Oh, we didn't trigger it yet. Alright, cool. So... We're not gonna go any further than that, though. Oh, son of a bitch, don't be... Oh, what the... Okay. Don't see that very often. I'll upgrade the farm. Cool. So... We're not gonna expand any further, I think. I'm probably gonna actually hold off. We'll just sit in Ozumi... Ozumo, Izumo, even in Bizen, and then we'll wait for this army to at least get a little bit closer, and I guess also prepare this army. Just put it on the navy and we can drop it off over here or something, that's fine too, but just get it a little bit more ready. Um, that means I also get to get those little free monks out and send them, start sending them up to start converting the Ico territories, because that's going to be a major problem in this campaign. Thank fuck for the Hojo still surviving quite well at least. Although I'm sure they've got loads of unhappy towns. They're allied to the Ikwiki. Holy fuck, I never, I'm sure they've been for a long time, but I never even noticed that. That's wild. I don't think I've ever seen the Ikwiki ally of the Hojo. Or of anyone, for that matter. What the heck? That's a weird one. That's crazy. Alright, anyway. I um, think that's about all I've got, to be honest. I... Have you exempted? Yeah, okay. I just need to remember to do it. fix that next turn. Um, all my navies. You know what? God, I just nah. I'm gonna keep him, even though I could, I could get rid of him to increase my income even further. I said I was gonna keep him, so I'm keeping him. I'm gonna. Ma I think the next army we make is just gonna be a full-on Ashigaru army, and they're gonna be plopped in that. <laughs> I can't believe I recruited them early on. Kept the Naman trade port partially because of it. Also, I uh, just realized a fucking Matsuda Metsuke just ran past me and didn't attack me. The Wako threat. Oh, that's annoying. Um, so we can increase our income a little bit uh, by paying two grand, which I will definitely do because otherwise you get some negative shit happening. The thing is, unless I save the game again, that's not going to pop up next time. And I don't want to do another turn, and I don't want to take any towns, so I'm not. there's no way I can save the game right now. Unless there's an army I can attack, but... Actually, I wonder if attacking... I wonder if the game saves if I attack this building here. I've never tried that before. I'm going to do it. I don't think it did save. <laughs> well, never mind then. Um, I'll leave it there for now. Next time I'll have to deal with some happiness, but I'm sure that's okay. So, that okay. will be that. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Shimazu Campaign. Next episode might be a little bit slower, because like I said, we're going to wait a couple turns to get our armies into position before we go to proper war. I might even peace out with the Matsuda, so I can get trade with them again. They'll stop blockading or raiding my trade. Make some, make a little bit more money before triggering Round the Vive. Because again, if I'm going to wait for my army to get over here anyway, we can trigger it by taking Sado. Um, so yeah, probably not a bad idea. I think we might go ahead and do that. So, until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and goodbye.